Kathleen Aiken's daughter, and I'll teach you to cook like a Viking over an open fire. During the Viking Age, things were not written down, so no, we don't have exact recipes. We will create some mouth-watering dishes from ingredients that could be found during the Viking Age. Later, we'll meet in the meat hall with Viking guests. Stay tuned. vegetables. I am so happy that my daughter Gwen is here to help me. I love cooking with another person and even better, someone I love. I am teaching her everything I know. She is learning so much. I'm happy to be here today. I'm always happy to help you. One thing we do have solid evidence of is the people who lived during the Viking Age had nutritionally balanced diets. Today, we are going to use a mix of vegetables that are a good source of vitamin C, iron and magnesium, and a very good source of dietary fiber, folate, and potassium. So that is why Vikings didn't have a problem with scurvy. Fruit and veggies, other than citrus, contain vitamin C. Who'd have thunk? Stop beating around the bush and tell us what they are. Okay, okay. Beets? Parsnips? Turnips? Carrots? Onions? Winter good veggies? Ooh, how about trying a glazed root vegetable mix? Delightful and simple. Great for you. Beets, parsnips, turnips, carrots, and onions cooked in a butter with salt, parsley, savory, and honey. Take two medium-sized beets. I've already cut them the stem and the roots off and I kept the greens for soup. Yummy and nutritious. Vikings like beets because it looks like blood when you slobber a piece on your tunic. Dice up those beets. During the long winter months, the evenings were spent around the fire with the bard singing sagas bringing stories of adventure, love, and loss to life. There was a young warrior, Bendik, who was looking for a wife. The king had a beautiful daughter, Orolilia. The king was protective of his daughter and hid her away. He then decreed that anyone who traveled on the golden track to her would die. Bendik decided she was the one. He traveled down the difficult track and visited her in the night. It was love at first sight for Aurelia. They swore to one day be together. However, one evening a young boy saw him travel the track and ran to tell the king. The king captured Bendik and had him tied up, but Bendik easily broke his bonds. The young boy quietly suggested the king bind Bendik with one of Aurelia's beautiful long hairs. Okay, dice up all the veg, take one medium turnip, we're going to use half of one today because there were only big ones, two parsnips, three carrots, all with the peel left on, fiber and nutrition. 
Now, one large onion, peeled and chopped. Let me show you how to do that. We'll cut it in half and use that root to hold on to because it'll keep you from crying. Throw all the vegetables in the cauldron with half a cup of butter and about a teaspoon of salt. Chop some fresh parsley and some summer savory. And we're going to add half a cup of honey and put it all in the pot with the vegetables and butter. Cook it over a hot flame, stirring it often for about five minutes. We're going to cook it, let it go for about another five minutes and dish it up. Delightful, warm, sweet vegetables on a cold, rainy day. What about poor Bandit and Orlilia? Rather than break one of his beloved's hairs, Bendik decided to stay captured. Many living things started praying for him. Everyone started praying for him. Orlilia begged for his life. Her mother even asked her husband to spare his life. Alas, the king was not moved and Bendik was sent to die. Bendik is killed beside the church and Orlilia dies of heartbreak. The king regrets his mistake, but the deed cannot be undone. The lilies planted on the graves of Bendik and Orlilia grow tall and intertwine above the church roof, a symbol of their undying love. Yeah, enough talk of sadness. This is a fabulous vegetarian dish which you could add other winter vegetables such as cabbage or squash. Enjoy! If you would like more information on the recipes and tools we use, check out our website at cooklikeaviking.com. Thanks for joining us today and see you next time on Cook Like a Viking.